This is the Aegis Max 20 degree sleeping bag. This is an interesting company. It's a Chinese company and they're kind of hard to find. You're not going to find this sleeping bag at REI or any of the major retailers in America. Um, even online they're kind of hard to find these sleeping bags. But there is one major advantage to going with a company like this and that's price. All of the other sleeping bags in this class are around $300 and this one cost me about $160. So I knew it was kind of a risk when I bought this. I wasn't sure if the quality was going to be there or not, but I'm, I've actually been pretty impressed by this bag, especially for the price. I did kind of pay for it because it took about three months to arrive. <laughs> so I actually ended up starting the Hey Duke Trail with my winter sleeping bag because I was waiting for this to arrive and it didn't get here until like halfway through the trip. But I think I just got unlucky and I'm not sure that that happens with every uh, order. This is filled with 800 filled goose down and it's about two pounds and two ounces. So it's pretty lightweight and it's surprisingly warm. They say it's a 20 degree bag and I've been fairly comfortable in this bag down to about 20 degrees, which is kind of unusual. Usually I can't sleep comfortably at that degree rating. It has to be about 10 degrees warmer before I'm uh, comfortable. But there were a couple nights on the Hey Duke Trail that got down to 20 degrees or lower and um, I wasn't super warm but I was definitely warm enough in this bag. The build quality seems to be surprisingly good. I've had this for about two years now and I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and it's been through quite a bit already. The zipper has been pretty reliable. It doesn't bind up any more than any other sleeping bag does. On the inside here, there's a little flap where you can put your phone or something in while you sleep, keep it warm. It has a couple drawstrings here, which are essential for those colder nights. When you get close to 20 degrees, you're definitely going to want to be pulling these tight. Um, so this one tightens up around the neck and it kind of cinches the bag around your neck. Um, so that kind of keeps all the heat in up to your neck. And then it's got another drawstring that'll kind of tighten the opening around your face. On those extra cold nights, I'm usually cinching this opening to just big enough so that my nose sticks out. I've seen people complain online that the material of this bag is kind of plasticky and it almost makes you feel like you're sleeping in a plastic bag, but I haven't really had that experience. It's been fine for me. Um, the outside is kind of plasticky, but on the inside it's more soft. I think one way that they keep the weight down for this bag is that they make it a very narrow kind of mummy shape. So if you need a sleeping bag that has some extra room to move around in, this is probably going to feel kind of constricting to you. Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. It's the size and shape of it is fine for me. As far as I can tell, this is one of the best value sleeping bags that's on the market right now.